Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here, and today we're talking to Josh McDermott from The Walking Dead. What? Where? <laughs> so thank you for coming. <laughs> thanks for having me. Congratulations on getting on the show. Gosh, thanks man, it's a dream. It was like my favorite show, so I didn't even ever think I'd be on it. I'm just afraid I'm gonna be the guy that ends up screwing it up, you know, and ruining it for myself to watch. I have a hard time watching myself on anything I do, but with this show, I just love it so much, I make the exception, because it's, I mean, everybody's amazing on it, and it's, it's just a, such an incredible show. Now, for you, coming from a comedy background, how is this different from everything else that you've done before? Yeah, it's a completely different world. There's no laugh track. There's no, uh, you know, there's there's just as much screwing around, I think. You know, we get uh, the, the cameras stop rolling. We just have a great time. And, and I think that's nice to have that release. You know, it's such a, it can be such a dark show and you're shooting guns at zombies and that sort of thing and stabbing people with knives and then you just call cut and you just want to make a joke about it. Now AMC released a ton of behind the scenes pictures today. Oh really? So they're like, everyone could taking selfies at the end of shooting and just like laughing while they're covered in blood. It makes it look like it is a fun set, even though you don't think it when you're watching the show. I mean, you know, you're, we're, we're shooting down in Georgia and in, in the middle of the summer it's like one of the worst places to be with the humidity and snakes and spiders and bugs everywhere. But the thing is everyone's having to battle those elements at the same time and so one way to just kind of get through that is to have that release of laughter and to just not really take it as seriously and, and be as miserable as you can allow yourself to be. And plus the people of Georgia are super awesome so when you're not filming everyone's super nice and, and very friendly. They're like your best friends down there, you know? And so it just makes getting through that whole process a lot easier when everybody is just kind of doing it together as a family. Now we were talking a little bit before we started rolling. I just want to talk about some of the crazier things that have happened to you since you've been on the show. And now you have fans that are, you know, trying to get you in relationships. <laughs> People you wouldn't really expect you to be paired with. I'm, I'm, learning, I'm learning this new thing called shipping. And apparently uh, uh, you were telling me that it's based off of uh, a relationship, that word. And it's just people writing fan fiction and, and trying to pair different people up into relationships. And there's one, one relationship uh, pairing on Instagram called Glue Gene. And it's, it's between Glenn and Eugene. And there's all these photos that these fans have made of Glenn and Eugene and like this loving relationship and I'm just dying. I texted Steven Young who plays Glenn. I said, hey man, I'm gonna pitch this storyline. He's like, I'm in, let's do it. Fans, I mean, they, they love this show. Yeah. Have you had, like, have people started coming up to you yet or they not recognize you without the... It's, sl it's slowly starting to happen. I've had, I've, I, I can, I've seen people taking pictures from the other side of the room. Um, and then I was actually recognized in New York for the first time the other day. Ever. Because most people think, you know, this is my hair color. Most people think that I actually have a mullet. Even the crew where we were shooting thought, hey man, brother, is that you? Like, why have the same mullet? You know, there's a few guys on the crew with the same hair, but it's, you know, they dye it brown and they clip in extensions and everything. And uh, so people don't realize, but you know, there's the more I'm doing this kind of stuff, yeah. people see. And so you're getting, getting to be recognized a little yeah, bit. We did, we got a lot of uh, fan questions. Oh, good. A lot of them were actually Bring them on. about the mullet. Oh, of course. The mullet is its own thing. Yeah. Man. One of them asked, how does Eugene keep his mullet looking so fly? You know, we have a we have a team of people doing that. We have three people dedicated just to the mullet. Not even the flat top part of the mullet, just, just the mullet. That. They're constantly coming over and futzing with it and making sure it looks perfect. They'll, right before cameras roll, they'll run in and say, wait, and they'll just adjust one little curl of the mullet. I mean, they... They take that thing seriously, man. It's if without them, he wouldn't look as good. <laughs> no, because a lot of people, for they're talking about terminus. What is it? Yeah. Who are these people? And everyone's talking cannibals. I think you know it's funny. Before we wrapped, we were asking Scott Kimpel, our executive producer, what you know, kind of what the storyline was, and and even he was not telling us. And we were throwing out ideas. We said, oh, is it cannibals? Is it this? Is it that? And he's like, I'm not telling you guys, you know? So we're, we're going to be just as surprised as you. And I, uh, you know, we're in good hands. I think yeah. the way they take the show is perfect. Yeah. Now, the last line of this episode, what did Rick say? They're screwing with the wrong people. Right. I think we're going to see a very different Rick next season. I, I would hope so. I mean, this guy's uh, broken. He's in a new place that he's never even been. I mean, the whole theme of, of season four has been like, you know, can you go back? Can you get back to what you were? He's like double down. He's gone so far in the other direction. It's gonna be interesting to see if he can ever get back because this man is broken. Even he was sitting there with a vacant stare, blood all over his face. I mean, that was pretty, pretty intense what happened. All right, so 
so final question. Uh oh. Who would you like to see uh, Eugene ship with? <laughs> Who do I want to see Eugene ship with? Well, um, you know, he already made a pass at Tara. Yep. Uh, she shot him down. She said she <laughs> likes girls, um, which. You know, he said, Eugene said he was well aware of that, but I don't, I don't know if he really knew that. I don't know that he's that, you know, on top of it. Um, but look, I, Sonequa, uh, who plays Sasha, you know, she's beautiful, you know. I think the more time Eugene spends with her, the more uh, he might start making a move over there. That might be fun. All right, we're going to call that one. Uh, Eugene, Eugisha, yeah. Sash Jean. <laughs> there you go, Sash Jean. The, yes. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing this and coming down here. Thanks for having me. Me too. Excellent. Thanks.